speaking, tension in Imo state. Imo speaker orders lawmaker out of plenary for sneezing. Advises another to go into self-isolation. The Speaker of the Imo State House of Assembly, Collins Chiji, has ordered the member representing Inquiry State constituency, Mr. Obina Okwara, to leave the hallowed chambers when he suddenly started coughing and sneezing during the plenary. This came as the Speaker also has advised the member representing Oweri North State constituency, Philip Ejogu, to observe strict self-isolation following his recent return from the United Kingdom. At the House last plenary for the week, Mr. Okwara's sudden sneezing caused pandemonium as his colleagues who sat close to him started shifting away from him. Other lawmakers in the, in the chambers quickly reached out for their nose masks and handkerchiefs and wore them. When the sneezing became very constant and started distracting the proceedings at the plenary, the speaker ordered Okwara out of plenary, advising him to check himself properly. The lawmaker was seen walking into his office and never came back to the plenary afterwards. Earlier on Tuesday, the speaker also ordered the member representing over the North State constituency Mr. Philip Ejogu to observe strict self-isolation following his return from the United Kingdom recently. Ejogu had returned to the country last week after he had visited the United Kingdom. He joined his colleagues during the plenary and was seen hugging his colleagues, especially Amara Iwanyao and Uchi Ubuagu, who were elected the Deputy Speaker and Majority Leader of the House, respectively. According to the lawyer, according to the Speaker, the lawmaker may have been exposed to COVID-19 during his visit to London. Chiji explained during the plenary that the lawmaker may have come in contact with one of the confirmed cases in the United Kingdom where the virus is spreading faster. All right, guys, that's the news story so far. Uh, the pandemonium that was caused in the Imo State uh, House of Assembly plenary session today, you know, is what we are reporting. And um, the Speaker of the House, you know, had to ask the member, uh, the lawmaker, to excuse the, from the chambers. It's what it is. The COVID-19 disease is real and it's strong. The uh, U.S. has now overtaken Italy as the highest, uh, with the record of the highest number of deaths from the COVID-19. The cases in Nigeria so far has risen to over 70, with the World Health Organization issuing stern warning to Nigeria. In the midst of all this, the president has been quiet, and nobody even knows the whereabouts of Mr. President at this particular point in time. What will happen to Nigeria? What will happen to Nigerians? People want to know. Well, guys, let's quickly take a few reactions and see what people are saying concerning this particular news story uh, before we actually move forward in actually analyzing things. Maureen Iguma says, If not for this pandemic, we will not know that almost all our leaders were not even in the country. Now, wow, the country when Una they go, Una don't see them come, come on our own country, come tour, relax, or even go hospital, I beg, they say common sense, but it's not common. Meaning that if not for this particular um, COVID-19 disease, people will not know that most and majority of their leaders are actually not in the country, which to some extent this um, is true. It is true. People will not know that their leaders are not in the country. Have you seen the whites coming to Nigeria to come and uh, to come for what's it called? To come for um, uh, health, whatever challenge, or come to their hospitals? No, or even to come and relax? No, they don't because they don't care. They don't need it. 
they have it in their own place. We are the ones that run after them. This is serious. Little wonder, Nam the Kano mentioned and said that uh, this COVID-19 disease will reveal a lot of secrets in Nigeria. Well, that's what it is. Another person says, Shelly says, he has already spread, he has already spread it to them. Now, so God go, they punish all these bad politicians. Yeah, yeah, people, any small thing, then go around, go abroad. See how, see now as, you know, you know see how, see now, you know, say pandemic don't cast for day. He still shook a big head, enter Nigeria, making carry corner body. Well, that's what this man is saying. Yeah, if you understand uh, the Nigerian local pigeon English, you will understand what he has said. Arabi said, Mr. Speaker, sir, you are a big fool. A lawmaker just came back from UK just last week and you allowed him to attend plenary meeting without other lawmakers, with other lawmakers. In spite of all this news everywhere, he has already given it to you guys. The case will increase tomorrow. Let's see how it goes. Uneducated lawmakers. Wow. Well, the situation of things is that, um, well, I think this man is actually right. If the speaker knew that the lawmaker came back from the UK just last week, then he shouldn't have allowed the lawmaker into plenary. The lawmaker would have been advised to go straight into self-isolation, quarantine himself for 14 days before coming out, to be sure. And that is what was reported last week when the um, Chief of Staff Abba Kiari wrote a letter to the Speaker of um, the House of Assembly and uh, I think the Senate, where senators and uh, reps members were said to ignore proceedings at the airport on coming back from uh, foreign countries. You can see what is happening. May God have mercy. Callisto says, I'm of the opinion that our lawmakers are not really serious about this COVID-19 menace. It's quite a pity. Well, it's true. To an extent, they don't seem to care somehow. You know, it's unfortunate and that is what it is. May God have mercy on Nigerians. Bax says, Nigerians, we are very funny and nonchalant. So people still can travel abroad, come back and not isolate a lawmaker at that. So you can see. How can the, you, you know, it's common sense. Though it's not common, but it's common sense that ought to, you know, that everybody needs to have. How can a lawmaker, you know, travel to high risk country came back and refused to quarantine it's that went ahead hugging you know hugging shaking and all what have you other members he possibly would have transferred it if he's having it or if he's carried it it's a pity and it's unfortunate another person says i hope he is not among the recent campaigns to apc otherwise the coughing and the sneezing is just the beginning well Kingsley Tom says, is politician virus, assuming they believe in Nigeria, none of them will be traveling to hide our money. Keep traveling, the airports are all shut down, foolish politicians. Well, that is what it is, guys. It's a serious matter. Well, we hope that just uh, ordering the lawmaker out of the plenary might just be enough you know for the for other speakers not to contact it or for other lawmakers i beg your pardon not to contact it because if he has been sneezing coughing and uh, he's probably have shook hands hugged other lawmakers then you just might have a feeling that he has actually spread this particular um, disease to other lawmakers in the house well be that as it may information and news report will definitely fire or uh, fall in any moment from now let's see how things would go washing of hands is not just enough social distancing is important and uh, is uh, advised guys well these are my views and my thoughts on this particular news story what are your thoughts kindly drop out the comment section let's know what your thoughts are 
don't forget to subscribe to this channel please also hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever uh, we post a new update thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news have a wonderful time and bye